Problem 6.15. Determine the roots of the following simultaneous nonlinear equations using fixed point iteration and Newton Raphson method. So, here are two nonlinear simultaneous equations. Our initial guess for the roots will be x equals to 1.2 and y equals 1.2. Here are some different setups of the equation to get uh, f of x and a f of y for the two separate equations. Here's our graph of our two equations. Here would be our first iteration and our second iteration of our approximation by the fixed point iteration method. And down here we have the same thing in a loop form. So let's run the fixed point iteration method so here's our two graphs our two functions and here in red the red dot is our fixed point approximation let's move it out to four iterations and by four iterations at 1.2, we are going way far away from the root that we want. So, we got to employ a better guess. Let's put it at three iterations for x about 1.2 and y about 0 0.2. So here, using the fixed point iteration, we're getting closer than we did before to our root. So let's go four iterations. After four iterations, we start to diverge from the root. So the fixed point method isn't the best way to go to find the root for this problem. So. Set that back to 3. For the second part of the problem, we will try to use the Newton's Raphson method for a simultaneous nonlinear equation. So we're using the same two equations. And here we, in, we implore our Newton Raphson method for the system of nonlinear equations. Here's our u equation and our v equation and then our derivation by parts is down below. So then after we take the derivatives we simply put them into our Newton's Raphson's equations down here I have it set for five iterations and our initial guess will be 1.2 and 1.2 and let's see how that looks so clearly already our newton raphson method is a lot better at approximating the root but we're not quite where we want to be. So, let's change our guess to 0 and 4. So, that's not a good guess either. So, let's change our guess to 4 and 0. Now we're a lot closer to where we want to be.
four and zero are good guesses for the newton rapson method for this equation. So, let's do it out seven iterations. And we are approximating the root very well. We could plot them together and notice the Newton Rapson method is working a lot better than the fixed point iteration. And let's see the results that we got for both. So the with the fixed point iteration method, we got y to be 0.46 and x to be negative 0.94, which is not where we want to be. But if we use the Newton Rapson methods guess of x is equal to about 1.6 y is equal to about 0.2129. That is very close to where we want to be. Let's go out to 15 iterations and see what we get. We're still pretty close to where we were before. And we want to be at approximately 1.7 and 0.2 for the y. So those are much better approximations to the roots for each. And that's it for problem 6.15.